Hi there, Taurus, Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is your August 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. And for this month, I'm using a different deck, and it's called the Tarot of Sexual Magic by Laura. And um, this is actually a very graphic kind of a deck, but you know the way that you actually read this is very much in tune with how love and relationship is really all about all about sex sexuality and relationships which is what we are actually doing so how i am going to be doing this reading is that i am going to be basing it upon um how the tower of sexual magic it's all about with their meanings and how it is being formed with the intent of the author who created this deck so um how i read it might be different from the usual but it's actually going to be the same because i'm still going to be using my intuition it's just that i'm going to give importance into what the imagery is telling us and what the message of the deck is um its insight is showing as a whole so um yeah uh, without any further ado let's just dive in into the reading now uh just a disclaimer that this is a general reading so it may or may not necessarily tune in for each and every taurus out there again this is for taurus sun moon and rising sign so please do use your own intuition as you listen and watch into throughout the video anyway so our first card for taurus we have here the sun and this is a very very much of a happy happy card happy omen basically so you could be in a situation wherein you're excited feeling happy and giddy it could be that you are in a situation right now wherein you know everything is working in, in the way that you want things to be you know maybe life is not necessarily perfect right now especially with how um things are happening in the world with the coronavirus and stuff like that a lot has been affected a lot of people are quite affected with that but um on another aspect of the story you know there is still quite a few things that are making you happy and maybe your love life you know there is something passionate about that there is something that is giving you some form of spark of happiness one way or another or this can just be a situation wherein you're quite excited like you feel that something good is about to happen or maybe that's what you're hoping for things to be because we do it you are being crossed over by the six of swords and the six of swords you know basically it it it, it has a lot to do with the flow of life with the passage of time all at the same time and you know if i combine you know the significator card uh, what is crossing over the sig significator and the foundation you're really really thinking about you know the bonding you know the bonding the connection and having something you know you want some form of improvement to occur in your life and maybe you're thinking about love as a whole it doesn't have to be with a specific person it's all about just love or being with someone being happy with someone th that kind of thing it is highly possible that you know it, it, it maybe you're single you know because of the crowning energy of the reading we do have the queen of swords and if you guys would notice the image of the queen of swords um this lady is not necessarily with anyone you know um the guy that is in the image is actually um it's like just in a painting or something or yeah it's in a painting uh, or yeah yeah it's like it's in a picture painting they're not really together so um it could be an energy of you know you are idealizing something maybe you are in a long distance relationship and you're not necessarily with someone right now but 
maybe there is something that bonds the two of you maybe for communication of some kind that form of energy it, like you're not necessarily together but there is a form of connection that's going on between the two of you it could either be that or you know this is all just in your mind wherein you are single but you are desiring love desiring to be in a relationship and all of that shenanigans so uh, that is basically what's in focus right now for you Taurus out there and in the past we do have this the six of pentacles and um, usually the six of pentacles this has a lot to do with balance right and with this reading it has a lot to do with boredom wherein um, it's telling you to focus on what is in in front of you and what is not with you that kind of energy in a in a situation in the relationships and I feel that you know this is about you um, you know maybe th nothing is necessarily happening in your life so you are desiring some form of action you know you are waiting for that waiting for some form of improvement and the thing here is that I kind of feel that you're not necessarily taking action you're not really doing anything it's really more about you want things to happen you know without you moving an inch <laughs> that form of energy is coming into play right here and in the near future position let's see what's this um this is the knave of pentacles so the knave of pentacles has a lot to do again with messages like what the other person is doing for you that kind of thing when when we pair it up to our relationship setup this can also be a situation wherein you know um maybe there's going to be conversations and communications with a um, particular person in in your life so i yeah but you know it's quite contradictory if you would ask me it's it's because you know it's like in your energy you're all about thinking about love feeling it's like you're expecting for something to happen something really really good to happen but at the same time you do have this you know the ten of swords as uh, another card that represents you so at the same time I kind of feel that you know your desire for something new and for something that you want to have is all in mix with with your own fears and disappointments I feel you know because this is all about the tears all of the all about the pain that maybe you are having it could also be that you know this could be a month we're in you know maybe you are feeling some form of fear there is some form of d difference with what you expect with life and what is really happening with you and whether your expectation is positive or negative is going to be you know a different story as a whole but i kind of feel that you know there is an opposition like like if you are a one at one aspect of life you're thinking positively but and another aspect of life you're suddenly being so pessimistic and you know being troubled with a lot of things it could also be that there is some form of bitterness inside of you because i feel that you know this is what your expectations are but there is also a form of solitude that you might experience for the month of august i feel it could be that you know you're expecting for everything to be adventurous and happy and all of that but it could be a time of solitude and maybe there there can there can be surprises but maybe it's not what you want for things to be or not in the way that you are expecting it to be that form of energy so yeah we do also have here you know the ten of wands as the other person's energy card which is all about you know the force 
being penetrating. So it could also be that maybe you are, you know, wanting for the other person to do something, but they are also stubborn in nature. So there could be a question whether you are feeling supported with your lover, that kind of energy, because we do have here the the Hierophant card, which is all about support. Are you are you are you feeling secured in the relationship or not? Or this could be an issue wherein insecurity can be a problem that you will be experiencing within the month of August. And the last card of the deck is actually the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords, you know, is not really the most positive card of the deck. But at the same time, you know, it does not really look scary or anything, which is what I like about it. But there is a black cat over there, which gives that, you know, omen kind of a thing. And I just kind of feel that, you know, if you're seeking a public happening you know a public life you know showing off with people and all of that that can maybe that's not gonna be happening you know anything that happens between you you and in your partner maybe goes behind the scenes and you know it could be that the things that you are going to be experiencing at this time is going to be very psychological that is also a, a big possibility that to occur but i kind of feel that you know, at the end of the day, you know, this is about you needing to overcome your fears because your fears is really going to creep up on you for sure. It could be coming up through your dreams even because um, in astrology, you even have Aries is going to be in your 12th house as well. So, you know, I was not really very surprised when I see, you know, some form of you know solitude and nine of swords the queen of swords over there and we have the ten of swords here so if if i do think of that of this as the normal you know right or wait I, I probably would be a lot more negative but i just kind of feel that this is going to be a subtle kind of reflection type of a month for you but definitely um if you are thinking of you know expecting for things to be you know to have some form of mutual effort between you and your partner or you know it's, it's like you're expecting something romantic and fun and giddy you might have some form of disappointment right there because this is not the month for that at least for you guys i mean i'm not saying that's going to be happening for all of you it's just that in general this is what i'm picking up for a lot of tours out there you know there is a need for you to slow down and it's not just about what is happening in your life necessarily but you need to slow down with how you are thinking you know your your judgment with things basically that kind of situation and yeah there is slow movement when it comes to your love life and relationships so i feel that you should not think too personally of that because for some of you you might make sudden decisions that you might not like for some of you you might become argumentative if you don't get exactly what you want so i would say that you know just to slow down and to not judge everything and not think every single negative thing <laughs> that comes into your mind just because you you're not getting what you want or just because your expectations is not lining up to your own reality so i just i would say that this is just not the time for things to exactly happen maybe within next month or so this could change but you know i just kind of feel that something needs to slow down for for a lot of you guys and this is going to be a time of reflection so try not to because i kind of feel that all your all the negative things about you they they might show up 
maybe because you cannot help saying things, or you cannot help thinking negatively over someone. So this might make you undesirable、um, unintentionally. You know, it's like. You are going to be acting upon a personality that usually is not you. So you might need to do something to calm yourself down and to not make drastic comments, drastic decisions all at the same time, and to not, you know, create damages or bridges in a relationship that has actually worth. Um, something you know. So let's just say that this is just a passing phase that you need to overcome. <laughs> so、um, yeah, this is my reading for you guys. Though I would say that this is more of a、um, more of a warning of some kind that you might need to pay attention with. So、um, yeah. Also, with our astral dice, we have the Saturn here in the sign of Aries in the sixth house, and the sixth house is like the house of enemies as well. Or this brings about you know the warlike in you, and maybe you are acting like that because of some form of fear. Because Saturn in the sign of Aries can bring you know some form of fear. In things, <laughs> because you know, Aries is a very childlike sign. So, and it, when it pairs up with with Air with Saturn, it you know, it's like a parent reprimanding a child. That kind of energy, which can cause a lot of stress. So, um, yeah, and not to mention that you need to take care of your health if if anything happens. You know, don't let stress get. The best of you. So um yeah, this is the time for you to slow down and to not take everything to heart, Taurus. I hope that this reading gives you insight and clarity into your situation. It's not necessarily a very positive reading, but um it is a reading that is worthwhile with the insights that comes with it. Um yeah, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me, and I'll see you guys again next month.